Neowa Inoue, Korea Fights Part 2. If you don't know, Neowa Inoue, big Japanese superstar, knockout specialist puncher. Um, he's dubbed the Monster, that's his nickname. And every Friday we're covering his career fights. Last week, last Friday was part one. Today is part two, and we're gonna get straight into it. So far, um, last week we covered his first three fights. So his first fight against Sameo was a, a fourth round knockout. His second fight, no coverage, but a first round knockout. And his third fight, he stops his opponent in the in the tenth round. So now let's get into his fourth fight. Okay, so fourth fight against Ryuchi Taguchi. Taguchi going into this fight has twenty fights, eighteen wins. One loss, one draw. I don't know much about his background, but he's way more experienced as a pro. But in no way, in no way, only four fights. Ding, ding, round one. Jab, jab, right hook to the body by in way. Not many left hooks, as we know. In no way, he's got a wicked left hook, but he's working more behind his jab. In no way, moving back, back nice, nice wood, so he'll, he'll land a punch, move backwards to avoid the counter. Also, as moving backwards, he'll do a semicircle with his feet to, to rotate and get in front of his opponent. Taguchi, low out punch. Low output of punches, but fast feet. Round two, Taguchi, pouring the jab, but not committing. A lot of his, a lot of his opponents, you know, once they, once they feel they know his power, but not sure what to do, and they don't, they don't punch as much, or, or just do basic punches with, with not much variety. Taguchi holding the center of the ring. Inoue testing his left hook twice. Fast body shots and clinches by Inoue. Jabbing, right hand, left hook at will, keeping Taguchi on the manner. That's round two. Round three, here we go. Inoue, hard body shots. Taguchi responds with slapping body shots, so not as effective. Taguchi not offering much, missing, accuracy not there, missing his jab and right hand. 47 seconds left, Taguchi misses left hook, then lands a left hook. Inoue not concerned, showing no regards for Taguchi's power. So round four, Inoue starts with a double left hook to the head, right hook to the body. Taguchi lands a right hand, Inoue not bothered. Inoue holding the ring center and lands all sorts of body and headshots. Taguchi um, has a small competitive moment, body shots and grazing uppercuts, not fully hitting Inoue. Taguchi lands um, a right hand before the bell, Inoue's round. So four rounds in the bag, all four for Inoue. Round five, the first minute's quiet, so I'm assuming that both fighters are looking you know, a little bit tired now. Second minute of the, of the round, we'll go into the second minute. Taguchi tries to land um, uppercuts, once again grazing, accuracy not fully there yet. Last minute, Inoue just beating that body up. Pa 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 pa. Taguchi looking despondent. Inoue's speed and power just, just being unleashed, and he just he steals the round in the last minute, even though Taguchi didn't offer much anyhow. So five rounds for Inoue. Middle point, round six. Taguchi getting close now. So at this point now, I'm noticing that rather than Inoue being on his feet and darting laterally and backwards in front of his opponent, he's just standing still. And Taguchi has some success. Some uppercuts and hooks on the inside, catching Inoue. Inoue. Um, Inoue is tired, as I said, and he's being dragged into like a sloppy slugfest, and this works for Taguchi, because when, when you're doing the pro, the professional, pretty looking technical stuff, Inoue is looking sharp, but it's the, the sloppy stuff, that's, that's not his fight. Inoue does come on strong in the last 30 seconds, but I give that round to Taguchi, so five rounds to Inoue, one to Taguchi. Round seven, good round, Inoue tired again, Taguchi throwing hooks, Inoue still standing still. Inoue creeps back into the round, jab, followed by a straight right to, straight right to the pit of the stomach, that's one of his special shots. Jab, right hand to the stomach. Jab to the head, right hand to the stomach. That's what he knocked um, down a mayor with in his, in his first fight. Did that a few times in this fight as well. Good combination. Good jab, lead right hand, left hooks, uppercuts. In the way he's light on his feet now. He's finding second wind in round seven. Late rally by Taguchi. Body shots, but missing to the head. So that's one thing to, to realize in this fight. The accuracy of Taguchi, not on point. If we're comparing fighters now, it's like foot speed, hand speed, on a par, because these small fighters, they are fast. But power, for Inoue, there's, there's definitely like a, he's definitely more advanced and he's got a clear advantage there. And accuracy and punch variety, Inoue is, is on his game. Round eight, Inoue picking him off with the jab, making Taguchi miss and lunge forward. As he lunges forward, he's losing his shape and he's being hit with left hooks and right hands. Taguchi losing shape, but showing heart. He's missing a lot, but he's still, you know, trying to be in the fight. Another round for Inoue. Only one round to Taguchi so far. Round nine. Inoue not using his feet to get out of range in the first minute of the round. He gets caught with left hooks to the body and head. Taguchi making Inoue miss. Getting in close and making it scrappy again. Taguchi tends to miss hooks to the head but lands to the body. That's, that's the theme of Taguchi in this fight. Inoue, quality work in the last minute. Hooks, uppercuts, hand speed, quality work. He steals the round. 47 seconds left, wicked right hook to the body. Keeps Taguchi on the manners. Another round for Inoue. So, like, 
the first two minutes of that round, you know, quiet, scrappy, but for Taguchi, but in the way he's working at the last minute is enough to, to seal that round. Round 10. This fight's only a 10 rounder. In the way, sharp, crisp, light, light jabs and right hands. At the two minute and 40 second mark, double left hook, right hook combination. Looks sweet. Trying to close the show. In no way, not defending his chin as much. No regards for Taguchi's power um, or accuracy. Two minutes and four seconds left. A mean left hook to the body by Taguchi. Body shot assault by, by sorry. Two minutes and four seconds left. A mean left hook by Inoue on Taguchi. Let me get that right. Because you Inoue fans might come and kill me if I get that wrong. Body shot assault by Inoue. Taguchi's game and fights back. Big left uppercut on the inside. Um, snaps Taguchi's head back. Inoue finishing strong. Taguchi hooking but missing. End of the fight. I didn't hear the scorecards for the fight. It's, it's not in English. It's in Japanese or, or, you know, an Asian language. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. But you go on box ref. We know you won the fight. He's unbeaten. So that's four fights now. Um, two knockouts. No, two, four fights, three knockouts. So in this fight, Inoue once again showing lots of celerity with his, with his jab and left hook. Just swiftness of movement. Looking really good. And um, although, although Taguchi was game, you know, he looked despondent like after the sixth round because um, there wasn't much he could offer. And I, you can't, I kind of get the feel that Inoue could have stopped him because he was landing at will and Taguchi didn't have any power when he, when he was landing his minimal shots. Um, so looking at Inoue's career so far, so four fights. <clears throat> what I like about this is, is that out of two of the four fights, he's gone 10 rounds. Now I think that's good because when you look at most knockout punches, a lot of the times they can get to like 15, 20 fights and they've never been tested because most of their opponents um, are in fear and they're getting blown out in one round, two rounds, three rounds. So you're not really learning much other than you've got power. At least with Inoue now, he's going like to the 10 round limit. So he's, he's testing his gas tank, he's testing his lungs. He's seeing what his technique and what his shape is like late in the fight. So I think that's good. Look at Mike Tyson. And this isn't a criticism, not at all, but it might be like Tyson's first like 14 fights. Most of them are like one round knockouts. Maybe a few might have gone three or four rounds. But he doesn't do his like first 10 or 12, first 10 rounds until like James Quitillis, Mr. Lud Green, and, and Jose Ribolta. You know, when he's getting near the, the 14, 15, 16 fights. So in early Mike Tyson interviews, you'd hear him say, I'm confident I can beat this guy, I can beat anyone in the world. I'm a little bit leery because I need to know how I can, if I can, if I can go all out for the 10 rounds. I haven't done that yet. So that's what he was saying before, but no he's getting that experience straight away. Those aren't Mike Tyson's exact words, but those are what I remember him saying. I'm just, I'm just sort of freestyling. So yeah, um, in no way hasn't been tested yet to, to see if he's got that intestinal fortitude. No one's really put it on him to see to, to make him dig deep. So yes, he's gone, yes, he has gone 10 rounds. We know he knows he can do 10 rounds, but no one's really put it on him and put him under pressure. And he's had, he's had to sort of like get off the floor or, or get really hurt. And then get it together. So for, so for example, Andre Ward, when he fought Kovalev, Andre Ward was knocked down in the first or second round. And he got off, got off the floor, got back into the fight, and won that fight. The first fight was debatable that like he won. I think he won very closely, but it's very, it could have been either way. The second fight, he won clearly. Evander Holyfield, knocked down by Burt Cooper um, early in his, in his championship reign, got off the floor, stopped Burt Cooper. Um, Sugar Ray Leonard, in his first fight against Thomas Hearns, that was a back and forth affair where Leonard got hurt early in the fight and had a sore knife. Came back, that fight was a, what, 14 rounder back in, 15 rounds back in those days? Came back and stopped Hearns in the 14th round. So um, that's one thing we haven't seen yet from Anui. Like, who's really put it on him and tested him? I'm not calling him a front runner, but no one's really um, made him really dig deep. So that'll be interesting. So um, next week, we're going to do Inoue Career Fights Part 3. So just click on the right-hand button or the right-hand corner of this screen here if you want to see part three as I've auto suggested it and don't forget Inoue's big fight November the 17th November the 7th sorry against Nonito Donaire the Filipino Flash based in America that's in that's, that's that fight is the finals of the WBSS Super Series for the Muhammad Ali Trophy um, I'm gonna post a link to this fight against Taguchi in the comment section so you, you can watch it yourself give me your thoughts let me know what you think of Inoue and um, I'll also link his Instagram account to this as well. So if you want to follow him and see what he gets up to, then um, that'd be a good look. So next, next Friday, part three of a new career fight. This is MSLB, Mark Sterling Boxing. Have a good weekend. Bless. Take care. Alrighty. Bye-bye.